Hi everyone, so I have a really special guest on the channel. I get a lot of questions about eco-friendly kids products, but I don't have kids. So my amazing sister-in-law is here to share some of the products she uses for her three-year-old. But before she jumps into it, I quickly wanna say, be sure to stick around until the end of the video because there's also a giveaway for you. All right, let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Gabrielle. I wanna start uh, by telling you about my favorite toothpaste the Jack and Jill's Strawberry and Calendula Toothpaste for Kids. It retails for around $10 Canadian and comes in a 50 gram tube. So it's not huge, but it's definitely enough for regular use for your child. It is amazing tasting and smelling. Um, and it is SLS fluoride and sugar free. SLS or sodium lauryl sulfate is the foaming agent that you find in a lot of store-bought toothpaste. So if you have a toothpaste that tends to get really frothy when you brush with it, it's got SLS in it. It also is used to thicken toothpaste. So it's not necessarily required in a toothpaste, but it is a cheap ingredient. So a lot of companies do use it. Uh, Jack and Jill uses a vegetable glycerin to act as that soap agent to help break up plaque on your child's teeth. The Jack and Jill toothpaste use organic fruit for their flavoring. Uh, so in this case, strawberry, but they also have other flavors, including blueberry, um, banana, and raspberry. Calendula is also added to their toothpaste because it's a natural soothing agent. So uh, for those of you who have teething, ravaged little toddlers, well, I guess they wouldn't be toddlers, but teething, ravaged little babies, this product might help you find some relief for your child. The toothpaste is a bit weird if you're used to a regular toothpaste that does contain sodium lauryl sulfate because it doesn't get all foamy in your mouth. Uh, so your angel baby when you're brushing their teeth is not going to be foaming at the mouth like a rabid dog which i really like because i find if my daughter gets too foamy she either dribbles it all over the floor or swallows it and if it's a toothpaste that has fluoride in it then i get really stressed out and worried that she swallowed something that she shouldn't so it's really helpful for a training toothpaste like this one that is safe to ingest it definitely has helped me to um, spend more time teaching my daughter how to brush her teeth because I don't look at her mouth like it's a ticking time bomb like waiting to go off. Um, I can just kind of sit back and show her how to do things properly without having to worry about that. I got my first tube of Jack and Jill's toothpaste from the Choosy Chick website. They have a lot of eco-friendly products kind of across the board that you can check out. As well, I was really impressed that their products were shipped in eco-friendly packaging. Something that you don't always see, so I'm always happy when I do find that products that I've ordered that are eco-friendly also come in packaging that can be recycled. I also received a Jack and Jill toothbrush from the Choosy Chick, this little alligator dude. And it's made from biodegradable cornstarch, which I thought was really neat. And it's BPA and PVC free. The bristles are made of an extra soft nylon, so they're safe to use right from your baby's first tooth on. And I really, really liked the grip size um, and shape. It's great for my toddler's three-year-old hand, maybe not so great for mine. The thing that I found the coolest about this, being that it's biodegradable cornstarch, is after you're done using your toothbrush and you're going to be throwing it away, you can break off the head and put the body straight into the compost bin. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the bristles do need to be taken to a recycling depot that has um, nylon recycling facilities. Now with summer in full swing, I wouldn't be a very good parent if I didn't touch on some outdoor products as well in this video. So I'm gonna start with some eco-friendly and child safe sunscreen. My favorite go-to brand for my whole family has got to be the Kula brand of sunscreens. Now Kula does make a wide range of sunscreens for your family. So they've got a sport version, they have face versions. They do have some aerosol versions, but I haven't looked into them a lot, so I don't know how environmentally friendly they are. So I try to stay away from the aerosols myself. Uh, they have face products, some with tint in them also. So the baby version I'll touch on because this is an eco-friendly children's video. Kula baby sunscreen has an SPF 50 and no discernible scent. Um, this one is a bit on the pricey side, so you're looking at for a 90 milliliter container, which I find you can last for the summer if you're just using it on one or two people. Uh, 90 mils retails for about $50 Canadian, so it's definitely not one of the cheaper sunscreens, but I really love it. It's my favorite for sure. It goes on really easily and blends quickly, which when you have a wiggly toddler is almost mandatory. I have looked a couple times longingly at the aerosol sunscreens because 
I know how much of a pain in the butt it is to get sunscreen on my daughter, but this one blends really quickly and easily into your skin and it doesn't leave a huge amount of that kind of white film behind that you sometimes see in eco-friendly sunscreens. So that's kind of the end result. Didn't take very long to get it all. And it's got an 80 minute water resistance rating, which is huge. Um, when your child is playing outside in the water all the time, having to reapply it any shorter of a time limit than that is kind of annoying. The Kula brand does contain 70% organic ingredients. In the case of the baby sunscreen, that includes apricot, coconut, and avocado oils. It also contains no nano-sized particles, which in theory should prevent the sunscreen from being absorbed into your child's body. The research is kind of out as to whether that does pose a health risk or not, but better safe than sorry. The active ingredients in the Kula Children's sunscreen are titanium dioxide at a 7.3% concentration and zinc oxide at a 4.3% concentration. My second favorite sunscreen is the Think Sport SPF 50 for kids. Um, you can see the package is a lot bigger, which is nice. You can kind of apply it liberally put it on your kid's back and you don't have to worry about rationing it like you do with the Kula one. Um, so for an 180 milliliter tube, which is double that of the Kula, you're looking at a retail of around $40 Canadian, so much better price point for sure. The ThinkSport also has an 80 minute water resistance and it's free from UV chemical absorbers as well as oxybenzone and avobenzone, which are all biologically harmful. And its active ingredient is non-nano zinc oxide at a 20% concentration. The ThinkSport brand has been ranked number one for sunscreens by the environmental working group for the past seven years in a row so it's a really highly rated um, sunscreen so i find the thing sport sunscreen to be a little bit on the thick side it does take a little work to rub it in and absorb it into your skin um, this product is well suited to older kids for sure but if you don't mind your wiggly toddler being a little bit white it doesn't leave a streaky finish which is nice um, and it's got a solid SPF. I really like this sunscreen. This is probably going to replace the Kula for my number one for my daughter just because of the price. I find that now that she's getting a bit bigger, I'm going through sunscreen at an alarming rate. My least favorite sunscreen that I've tried this summer has got to be the Badger SPF 30 uh, vanilla and tangerine sunscreen. I really wanted to like this sunscreen. It's got a lot of really great pros on paper. It's hypoallergenic, biodegradable, it's got a really nice smell, and the tube is BPA and PVC free. The active ingredient in the Badger sunscreen is non-nano zinc oxide at an 18.75% concentration. But for the cons, which were really what got me, um, it's extremely thick. It's so thick, I just couldn't get it streak free on my daughter. If you've got a toddler who's trying to like run outside, it's impossible to get this sunscreen reasonably covered on their bodies. And it only has a 40 minute water resistance rating, so that was kind of the deal killer for me. Because it has so many great qualities, I would recommend this product for parents of older children who can reliably put on their own sunscreen, but if you've got a child like me who you are putting on all of their sunscreen for, just save yourself the hassle and go with a brand that's a little bit easier to apply. One of the greatest struggles I have in the summer is trying to keep my sweet daughter from becoming a mosquito blood bank. I don't like being that helicopter parent who hovers around their child swatting bugs away, but I also don't want to put DEET on my daughter's arms and legs when she's out Play. I don't feel okay with it. So I've been testing the uh, Badger Anti-Bug Bomb this summer, which is a 100% organic kind of deep free product. It comes in a 42 gram or 1.5 ounce tube. So it's a good size for throwing into your purse if you're going out camping. Why are you bringing a purse camping? It's a really good size if you're putting it in your backpack for camping or going out to maybe a ball game or something in the evening. It's got a really nice scent as well, um, very citronella candle smelling, and it retails for around $16 Canadian. It's made to repel mosquitoes and stable flies, so it's not meant for other biting insects. The area of the country that we live in doesn't see a lot of other biting insects, so it's not an issue, but if you live in an area that has other biting bugs that you're trying to repel, um, this might not be the right product for you. And the last product I want to touch on today is the Buttercup and Jade Cocoa Calendula Balm. For those of you who have children who have dry, irritated skin um, or problems with 
dry skin it changes seasons this product is really nice it smells like chocolate which is always a bonus and it's got 86 percent organic ingredients so um, it's got a really nice feeling it retails for around 16 dollars canadian and again i got this one from the choosy chick website it contains cocoa butter shea butter safflower oil um, olive oil with calendula yojoba oil and natural beeswax but if you're looking for a really nice soothing cream for your child um, that is also edible I hear I haven't tried it but um, that is what the company says works really nicely for soothing areas of dry skin on your body and on your child's body I've used it on my elbows I must admit and I really like the feeling it's got a beautiful texture so that is it for products for me to talk about today Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you learned some things and are interested in learning more. I'm gonna be doing another video on children's clothing right away here. So uh, tune in for that to hear about some of the kind of ecologically friendly um, children's brands out there, where you can find them and what their fit is like on a three-year-old. Anyways, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Be sure to give Gabrielle some love down in the comments and check out her kids clothing video which will be coming up soon. Now some of these products were sent to test out from the Choosy Chick and they also included a little one starter bag to give away to one of you guys. It includes the toothpaste and toothbrush Gabrielle mentioned as well as some other products. So if you're in the US or Canada and you like using natural products for your kids or you want to make the switch to more natural products, you can enter the giveaway by commenting below a way which you currently or plan to help your kids Kids learn to care about the environment and hopefully we can get a big list of ideas. The winner will be randomly selected and announced in the next kids video and all the giveaway rules and information are down in the description. So again a huge thank you to Gabrielle. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and thank you so much to those of you supporting me on Patreon and I'll see you in the next one.